this is the second time trying to film this. Something fucked up the first time. The light was too bright in the background. The video stopped filming. And it was probably like a 20 minute long video. We wasted our time. But now we know what we're talking about, so we can be more concise about it. Yeah, somewhat like that. Yeah. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Alright. So, um, as most of you know, we are in New York right now. We have uh, been here for about four days. Um, we were in New Jersey for a little while. Now we're in New York. And he's fist pumping like a faggot guido. And, um... So we've been here for a while, and we've uh, been having a lot of fun, and going out, drinking, having food, and, you know, visiting places, just having a really good time. Um, we had our meeting today uh, with Swedish Match. Um, we went over a lot of really cool stuff, which we'll show you and go over most of it, yeah. the, the stuff, the we, stuff can. we can. Um, first, we'll start off with some new products um, that we've already mentioned on our site, but I figured, it, you know, we'd give it, we'd tell you anyways. They have the new Goatberg's Rappé Goat Rape. Jotaborg's um, Rappé. Yeah, go right. The R edition, um, 2012. It's actually a really cool can. I thought the cans looked like shit when I saw them in the bit in, in the pictures. But I, I like think white cans a lot. I think they're really cool. They're white and they have a kind of cool little like icicle type design on the side. I actually like these cans. I think they're really cool looking. Um, Same until, stuff in the can. Yeah, until you see them in person, you you, you won't agree with me probably because the pictures don't look that great. But it is the same stuff. It hasn't changed. Um, next, I'll go with the, the the radical red, which I actually have in right now. Um, and both, I think everyone that tried it um, was everybody was surprised. Was surprised. I'm not gonna tell yeah. you if I like it or don't like it, but they were surprised because from what you're reading, it's not. It's what, not what you would expect. It's not what you expect. Basically, it's 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 completely different. But it is a really cool can, even though it has pink on it. But um, I it's, like it's an extra strong snooze, so pretty cool stuff. Um, let's go with the general general stir, extra stir or extra strong long portion. Uh, this is the new from the long series that they have. And um, so it's an extra strong. I believe it's 18. They said it's 18 or 19 yeah. around there. Um, but um, I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard I, pretty I good wonder, things. It's, it's pretty good. It tastes just like general long, but a little So I, I think it's great. Um, the guy from, one of the guys from Swedish Match, Marcus, said he can't use this too strong for him. <laughs> but, uh, Did you see what they were using in the meeting? Like every one of them had General White cans, Rubini and Marcus. Yeah, they were all using mostly General White. General White, hold on. Pretty much. Um, let's go here. Um, let's go to the Catch Lafayette. Lafayette Street. They have these new Catch. I know you guys have seen on our site the Catch Collection Lafayette Street, which is a spearmint. Nice. Um, it's in this tiny little. I love these cans. They're so small and awesome. Um, but they are coming out with two more this year. Um, they're all going to be named after streets in New York, is what we're being told. So Lafayette Street is a street here in New York. And then we'll have the uh, Soho edition flavored well, with boy butter. Yeah, for Eric. Yeah. <laughs> um, but who knows what they're going to name the other ones. It might be, you know, you know, Broadway or Fifth Avenue or who knows. It could be any other street in New York. Who Fifth knows? Avenue could it smell could like be, it, Chanel. Yeah, it could be, it could be the freaking, it could be a street in Harlem. I don't know. Um, what else we got here? Catch O.E. Catch O.E. Old English. <laughs> um, we got this new uh, General Strong White Mini, which I haven't cracked this can, but I smelled some last night. That uh, I, 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 had, I had, had it yesterday. It's pretty good, and um, it smells amazing. And it taste the taste is different. Like I thought it was gonna taste just like General Stark, but it's got like a hint of juniper in it, which is actually really good. And I think these cans are one of the sexiest cans I've ever seen. I think these things look awesome. They're just so clean, so smooth, so so classy. I love it. I love these cans. Um, let's go back to Catch again. Catch has about 8,000 different things here. Um, yeah. I don't even know how many there are. Five? Is it five? It's, uh, There's four. I think it's four. Yeah, it's eucalyptus regular. Oh, five. No, it is five. Um, they're redesigning the Catch. Oops, I dropped it. They're redesigning the Catch cans um, again. <laughs> For like the 9,000th time. Yeah. Um, they, they went. Very plain, um, very like just plain. I, I don't know how else to say it. Um, but here is your minis and your larges. Notice but, the three stars. Um, yes, they have like a, this is actually something that I was going to bring up. Uh, you can't really see it on this because it's silver. Uh, you probably can't see it anyway because this video quality probably blows. But if you look at this can here, it might be a little more prevalent. They have this three star logo. And it says Swedish snus on it. Basically, what that is, they're gonna put that on all Swedish match products, just to say, listen, it's a Swedish match brand, uh, yeah. product. Um, so you don't have to look at the bottom and look for 
Sweet Match at the bottom is going to be right on the side. Just identify it's a Sweet Match product, and it is a high quality standard product, you know. Um, 01 is yellow now. It's like a school bus yellow logo instead of the black it used to be. Um, so if you're a snoozer or a dipper who drives a school bus, this, you would like this? Yeah, no comment. <laughs> um, but the, um, I don't know why they changed it. They really didn't give us a reason. Uh, but I guess from some product, they said some product. Um, some focus group said focus that they Focus group said that. they wanted a different color, I guess. Yeah. And, um, then we got the Goat Rape Cardus. Bam. Which I can't wait to try. Um, I love all the Cardus's so far. This one was, I just had this loose for the first time the other day. This one was made 112. Um, that was last month. That's pretty damn fresh. Pretty damn fresh. <laughs> um, the only way you get it fresher is if you're actually in Sweden at this museum. You can probably get one that just came off this sim design five minutes ago. And these are for sale online now. All, all these are, stuff is in stock now. All, these, all the products we're showing you are in stock right now. You can buy all of this stuff except for some of the stuff we're going to show you right now. <laughs> um, they gave us, we got some baggies here. I got two different types. Chad got yeah. two different types yeah. of stuff. What this is is basically one type of new tobacco that they put in their products. This, um, I want to tell you right now, this was the um, Argentinian tobacco. I have the, the, I the Spain and the U.S. And my U.S. bag, I think, is about to break open. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but what it is is basically their 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 products are actually hundreds of tobacco in one snooze. Yeah. Um, they don't just take, you know, this bag and make a snooze out of this. This is not Eton right here. You know, this is, you know, one hundredth of Eton or more. So, this is what the tobacco looks like before it looks like that. This yes. is a finely milled tobacco without the moisture. So, it's it, it's cool to see, you know, seed to can. And they showed us the seeds. They showed us the seeds the tobacco. And So, it, it's really cool to see the whole process. And they actually um, gave us, basically, a free range. Gave us, you know, like ten different types of this stuff. Right we got here. to use flavorings. We got to use flavorings and uh, make our own snooses. I made a couple different types and um, I haven't tried them yet, but I'm gonna let them sit for a few days. And then, you know, you get to try them after a few days, they kind of settle in and over time they even settle even more and you can get that full yeah. flavor. I don't know if they're gonna taste good or taste like shit, but you know. I made I, a licorice one with just a little licorice in hopes that it, I made a licorice that doesn't suck. Yeah, and I made a couple that were just crazy flavorings and they all, both came out like um, very mellow and smooth and just different. So hopefully it tastes good. We'll see how that goes. Um, another thing we did get was um, we got this cool little thing that I know some of you guys have probably seen it on Tim's News of Fire or some other people. It is a lid. And this is a old lid. This is not a reproduction. This, this is, is from the original. Mine, mine actually has a little bit of rust on it um, because these are real lids. Um, There's not many of these left. From back in, I don't even know. They, they have a little, they even made us a little thing. Um, when the Monopoly started in 1915, there were three kinds of cans. Two were oval and came 50 grams. Oh, two were oval shaped and came 50 grams and 100 grams. There were also a square shaped container called Cardus. Um, in the 1960s, they changed some of this stuff to make it easier to mass produce and everything. And then in 1967, a round paper can came out with the 50 grams of loose. And all these cans had a sheet metal lid with the STA logo, which is this logo, which is, means basically Swedish Tobacco Company, which that's when the Swedish tobacco was yeah. basically regulated and pretty much owned by the government. Um, this was on all the cans, not, not just, you know, Eton or this was every can had this top. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, specific for a specific type of snooze. Every can had a STA top on it. But you imagine if Stu's got more popular, how expensive it would have been to mass produce those lids. Exactly. <laughs> so, so once, once you know, eventually they, they got they got away from that. Um, when you know the government kind of stepped away from the tobacco, and you know now it's private companies and stuff like that. So that was really cool. I'm glad I have this. I mean, this is a, a piece of history, yeah. a piece of snooze history, and uh, I'm just fortunate enough that I got one. Um, they didn't even bring it a lot. They, I think they brought four to this event. Yeah. So only a few of us got them, um, but some other people already had one from when they visited Sweden. Um, we also got to see some new products that Phil, uh, Philip Morris International and the joint venture of Swedish Match are launching in the U.S. You're probably not going to be able to see these pictures, but yeah. we'll, we'll have these online somewhere. Yes, we're going to post those pictures on our website, and yeah. there's a lot of, uh, we got to try all these products. Obviously, we couldn't take the cans because they're not for the United States, <laughs> Yeah. but um, we got to try them all, and I've tried all of them. We had uh, Marlboro for Japan. 
Uh, the marble was for was like Malaysia, Malaysia, I think. Yeah. And it was two types of marble, like a mint and like a, a original. And they were uh, actually the mint was more like a, a an American type mint, and yeah, the, the, the original was a really good like chocolatey vanilla like balance that was actually really good. Um, and these were in the old uh, what's that shit called? Catch uh, general smooth. The cans. general smooth and the yeah. catch uh, fresh mint or what was it called? Pure mint, mint, catch yeah. pure mint cans. Except they had a seal on it. Yes. That seal was pretty cool. Yes. It was like a foil seal. And then they had the Parliament, which the Parliament was actually a thinner can just like that. Yeah. And they had some general that, and this is a nationwide effort to, or not nationwide, a worldwide effort to try to get, you know, snooze into everyone. everyone's hands, which is awesome. I think it's great that they're trying to mass market snooze to the whole world as a product to, to get off cigarettes and get off, you know, uh, more harmful alternatives. The main thing... The U.S. distribution, which I think is why we were here, because that was the big chunk of the meeting today. The uh, the one question I got the most surprisingly was about General Speedway in Ohio. I got like seven emails this morning about that. They're like, don't forget to ask. So apparently, in the speedways in Ohio, the general's not being discontinued. So whoever's telling you guys that, that's not happening. The the one thing they did tell us is, um, if if it was a store that didn't sell, then they probably pulled it from that store. But it's not a mass pull. Um, it's not being discontinued. It's just that um, location. Even the Eton stuff, we thought that was gone, and they were kind of vague, but it seems like it's staying around. Um, we'll see in the future yeah. what exactly happens, but from what they're saying, it seems like it's going to stick around, and they seem like it's going to you know, keep on rolling. Um, they're expanding from, they're at three test markets now with the, you know, the square cans, square and round cans. Um, five more new ones with the, uh, with the, uh, well, I didn't want to call them that, the coffin cans. Yeah, the and square then, cans. They call them square cans even though they're rectangle. They're rectangle. Makes sense. And yeah. then two more that are going to have the rectangle and the round cans. Yes. Um, so that's ten total markets in the United States. They're not coming to my market, but uh, I think it's great. Um, eventually, hopefully, this will push once they, the growth happens more, um, push to a nationwide release. Yeah. Uh, the growth has happened. They are growing. Um, I can't give you the exact figures. We're not allowed to tell you. But, but it's good. But yeah. the, the, it's 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 not, you know, crazy, but they're growing. Well, they said the snus is only like you know four percent of the smokeless category. So. so snus is a small market as itself. So to see, to see the growth growth that it is is great. Um, I'm happy to see the growth, and I hope it continues. And hopefully, once it launches nationwide, it will it will you know even out prices, even out you know quality of you know this store has ex expired snus. It shouldn't have expired snus. Yeah. And stuff like that, it'll kind of um, those things should those kinks should all work out. Yes, everything should work out, and it'll hopefully be a great thing for all you American snooze users. They they really stress the ambassador program to where yes. you know w what we're doing and passing on to you guys. It's very important for you guys to pass on to other people because you know the clerks. You know, you walk into a store and you ask a clerk about the uh, stuff on the counter, and they're like, "Oh, that's nuts, whatever," and yeah. they're not gonna know, but you guys do. So and you, but they are trying really to tell. educate. They are trying to educate store owners and stuff. Um, it's you know it's not ever always going to work. It, it it just doesn't happen. But it's a great the great thing they brought up is friends and family yeah. that you know that might be interested or or trying to quit smoking or any of that stuff. You can educate them, show them snooze, try to get them to use snooze, and that will help dramatically on pushing this U.S. market share of general Swedish match snooses. And and honestly, I know this is a Swedish match kind of thing, but. Once Swedish Match establishes something here, it's going to bring a lot of your other snoozes here yeah. too. So, I mean, if you're not a big Swedish Match fan, um, which most people are because Swedish Match makes some amazing products, but um, if you're not a big Swedish Match fan, you'll eventually will grow to where there will be a lot more snoozes in the United States for you to get locally instead of having to order everything online. And ironically, like 90% of the stuff, I, I was trying to bring stuff here so I had someone sit on the table so they'd be like, why do you have gauntlets here. They're like 90% of the stuff I bought was sweet, brought here was Swedish Match just because I, I like their stuff. They make good snooze. And, and I mean, all the stuff we tried today was, was awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but the, the stuff that I was showing you in the in the bags, they actually had these for each one. They passed around these little cans, and you see on the bottom, this one says US, and it's like a black bottom can with the, the, the gold top, which was crazy. <laughs> Um, that can was cool shit, yeah. But um, they have, they put just that one tobacco in this portion. Um, so you can go around and everyone can try it and, you know, see what they like to see what they wanted to blend into their snooze. And I think it was really cool because, I mean, I've never tried a straight U.S. tobacco. The just, South African, that stuff was strong. The South African version <laughs> on the U.S. was nicotine-wise. This is probably the strongest, strongest snooze yeah. I've ever had. 
um, because the nicotine in this thing is fucking will blow your testicles off. And these portions were so good, it was just straight tobacco, and I was like, man, that'd be some good shit to say. I, I actually, I actually <laughs> mentioned to these guys, and a couple of them said that they should just take this U.S. tobacco and I just like this. Slap a label on it. Slap a label it. on it and sell it. And and the, they were like, really? So. It, don't be surprised if you see some kind of random stuff coming out. The camera will look exactly like this. <laughs> That'll be awesome. It'll have a P, uh, the sticker will be on the top. <laughs> That'll be awesome. <laughs> so, so, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, with that. Um, so we've got a lot of fun in New York. Um, the, a lot of cool people here. Um, um, I said this in the last time, time we tried to film this, but it's everyone here. I mean, there's people from Snoo Central. Um, there's a representative from Snooson. There's um, Doctor Snoos. There's just the magazine. The, the Snoo Snuff Takers. Magazine. M for Nervous. The badass magazine that I've shown you guys. Um, they're here. Um, and, and it's so many different people from different areas and different views. And it just, but it worked so beautifully and everyone got their good views in. And, and it seems like Swedish Match is happy and they like They the actually things. listened. There were so many, yes. you know, aha moments where we said something and that guy who handles a lot of the U.S. distribution, he was like, really? Wait, okay, what? And, and you could see he had a pad and he, he was, was writing, writing stuff down. He was writing more than anybody in there. He was, you know, taking notes and making sure he understood what we were saying and it seemed like they were really receptive to everything yeah. we were saying. And, it, and then they gave us a lot of good information that we could take back and some of it we can tell you guys, some of it we can use in videos, future videos and and stuff like that. Some of it we can't. We kind of just gotta, you know, roll with it and kind of keep it under our belt. But it's good stuff to hear. So. It's interesting to see, like, how much, you know, how much more informed they try to make their clerks than Camel. When Camel launched it in a project, they pretty much say, you know, you sell our cigarettes, you have to sell our snooze. They educate their people. Yes. The people they're selling the snooze to the stores. So the and stores are buying it, and they know what what the fuck it is. That and that might not always transfer down to your clerks, the clerks of the stores. But I think they're trying to get a bigger push to actually have that transfer down to the clerks. So when you go into a store and, and someone is you know looking at snooze or someone is looking to buy the snooze or even someone that's buying something similar or a camel snooze or something, they can inform their customer or the consumer about what this is and yeah. about how it's it's the best snooze um, uh, on the market right now here. So we had a really good time. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna have more video, maybe footage from tonight after. The you know, stuff we can release, you know, without you know, wives getting angry. You know, you know, some maybe there'll be some loose tongues tonight, and I'm not talking about making out with people because that's just weird. But I mean, loose tongues <laughs> as in speaking of stuff that probably shouldn't be spoken of. But um, we'll see what happens. Nick and, and Johnny Loose is not coming back. Oh, Nick and Johnny Loose is not coming back. No. Um, we pushed for some other stuff, and and most of it was a uh, no. I'm sorry. No, no, sorry, not so much. And <laughs> the funny thing is, is um, I'm not gonna say what product it was, but. <laughs> The, the basically the flavor guy for Swedish Match isn't he cool? He's cool. He's such a cool guy. It's my favorite part of meeting him. But but he he's like the flavor guy, and we asked him about something. He goes, someone was like, oh that was that was really good. He goes, that's that just was terrible, just terrible product, terrible product, and, <laughs> and it was hilarious just them ragging on their own product. And he's like, that was the worst product ever. Basically, is what he said. And um, I think it's great that to see them, you know, kind of. They're, they're human, you know, they, they, they will tell you how it is. They're not going to beat around the bush. Um, and they were all there, Sweden, North America, the market heads, the distributing people, like everyone was there. So, I mean, everybody had something to say about their respective regions. You know, Sweden's still a focus, the U.S. is still a focus, uh, but this was mainly a U.S. focus thing. That's why we're here, so. They, they, they brought up some things for Sweden, but it was mainly, you know, let's try to get U.S. into more of the snooze world. And I thought it was a great, great atmosphere. Um, and hopefully we'll find out more stuff tonight that uh, is, is under the table here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they even gave us cool little Swedish Mats bags. I know these aren't like fucking book bags or anything, but they're still cool. They'll look good on the shelf. Exactly. They'll look good on the shelf. Hanging out. I'm probably Go Giants! Gonna, and the Giants won while we're here, which was awesome. But uh, I'm probably going to take this bag, take everything out, and fold it up nice so it doesn't get damaged and transport back to Miami. But um, I brought I brought some cigars for Connie because he's a flavor guy, and the and the TSA left one of those notes in my bag that said your bag was inspected by the TSA and the box of cigars was gone. Really? I was telling Jules about it last night. I didn't know that. Yeah, a friend of mine makes cigars and rolls them, so I brought some for Connie. That sucks. They reject. Oh, yeah. that blows. Yeah. But I didn't have any problems going through anything. I, mean, I, I don't know what's gonna happen when I try to bring these things through, through the airport. <laughs> They're gonna they're gonna ask what the hell is that? <laughs> Did you hear what Jules was saying about the uh, about these? He said no. they thought they were C four. Really? He had like three of them in his bag, in his carry on. And they thought they were C four. Jesus Christ! <laughs> but um, 
guys, we have, we've had a lot of fun so far. So we have a bunch of pictures we're going to post up. And um, we'll show be bringing around. back lots of reviews. we got um, lots of shit. The, the room here, the room in Jersey kind of sucks. The room here in New York is actually really cool. It's very small. I'll probably take a video of my room in a little bit and, and just post it at the end of this video. But the room is, is very small but very nice, very classy. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a cool atmosphere being here in New York. This is yeah. my first time in New York. Um, so uh, I've had a lot of fun. My legs are killing me uh, from walking so much, but and it's we, cold as shit. Not for me, but not for him. Yeah. <laughs> not for Miami. It's like 30 degrees. I'm dying. But what can you do? You know, I'm having a good. I'm having a good time. So I will probably take this snooze out with me tonight. Like I like it. I'll probably use it tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna take off tonight. I've been using my. I actually got this jacket and it has a perfect snooze, like pocket. My snooze can fits right in there. I have a Generonics can in there with a bunch of different snoozes in there. So, the Generonics carbon fiber can. Um, but I think that's it, guys. Um, if there's anything else, I'm sure we'll we'll add more stuff to this yeah. video. Or, you know, we're going to post. All this information is going to be on GoSmokeUs.org. So, you can go and read um, it. And we'll so, check out GoSmokeUs.org. Um, like I said before, Chad, I finally got Chad his hat. Um, so, Chad has the hat now. Um, I have the shirts, but the shirts are, they messed up like I showed you in the last video. And, um... The hats are badass. The, the shirts look badass. Will, will be better. <laughs> the shirts will be better once they fix the little mistake they made. And the hats, I'm not, I don't know if I'm 100% satisfied with them yet. They, but, fit, um, they fit really well. They fit really well. They, they do look nice, but I think I'm going to tweak some things just to make it a little more, um, I don't know. I might just tweak some things just to change it up a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not fully 100% set. I might go with this design. I might change it up a little bit. So I think that's about it, guys. Um, you know, keep on using Smokeless. Check out GoSmokeless.org. Check out Snoopy.com. Buy Check some out, Radical Red. Buy some Radical Red. <laughs> buy all these products that we're showing you are available on the on web right now. Buy Snooze, Northerner, Snooze Central. Um, I'm sure they're all going to have these products. If they don't have them right now, they're going to be in soon. And I believe they all have them right now. Swedish Match second. rarely, like when I look back on my reviews, the only one I, I didn't like of their products was Cronin. Like they rarely release something and see, that and, and a lot of people really like Cronin. So, I mean, it's just, a, it's relative to everybody. You know, yeah. you're, you're not going to like everything, but they have a lot of products. And, um, and honestly, a lot of people were talking crap about how Swedish Match, everything's the same. But if you actually look, if I look this bag, everything's different really. Yeah. Um, they do have a lot of products that have the same general basic flavor, but there's a lot of other products, and especially when I was looking at the products and trying the products that are overseas that we can't get, those are completely different. I think there was one, maybe two, that had like a, a similar profile to something else they make, but everything else yeah. was totally different. Mint was common. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple mints, but and, but even the mints were, were different from each other, and some were stronger, some were, you know, it's, it's, just, it's, just, a, it's just a crazy thing how they, how they actually flavor all these different yeah. snoozes and how much time and effort and how much different type of tobacco because I couldn't believe that this one bag is only one one hundredth one two hundredth of a, of a product of one little portion of snooze this is a, a very small percentage this one bag of tobacco but they only use good tobacco because said there's four thousand types available in the world and they, they only use a hundred of those they use like a hundred and I think they said a hundred and seventy or some some random number like that yeah um, so it's really interesting to see that but I think that's about it guys um, so I think we're going to sign off now and go have a few drinks and then go out tonight to Club Macanudo, yeah. which is like a cigar bar That they restaurant. apparently own. So They own it? Yeah, that's what someone was saying. I don't think they said they own it. They went there last night, I know that. But whatever, regardless. Um, until next time, guys, just check out GoSmokeUs.org and that's about it. Peace out.